Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 030 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as and click project. We name this file to 00 underscore 041 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the elevation in Revit. Go to the click the minus sign next to the structural tab to collapse the structural views and click the plus sign next to the floor plans to open the floor views. Double click the ground floor plan to open this view. If you avoid the mouse cursor into this circle, you see the view name. For instance, this one says view elevations front elevation. The front elevation is the custom with the custom name that we give to the elevation. When you start a project, you will revit rename these guys to front, east, west, north, and south elevation. But sometimes it's very confusing to tell which is front, which, which is east, which is west, which is that so i sometimes prefer to rename this view to front elevation right elevation left elevation and rear elevation that's exactly what we did at the start of this project now if we have a mouse cursor into this circle the edge of this circle and click then select go to elevation view Revit automatically open the elevation of this project. This is the front elevation. You can also go to the project browser, click the plus sign next to the elevation category. You see the front elevation is bold because it's the current view in the project. Now, if you want to see the left elevation of this project, you can also double click the left elevation. You can even change the views, the view details of the elevation and the visual display now the scale is 1 to 100 click the detail level and select fine instead of cost as you can see the view improved slightly now if i change the visual style to shaded you see the view with the shaded material this is how elevation work in revit now if i want to see the rear elevation all I need to do, go to the project browser and double click the rear view. See, I can also change the display of this view. If I want to see the right elevation, I can double click and open the right elevation. I'm going to change the view to view detail to fine, then the visual display to shaded. You can even set it to realistic if you want to. This is how the elevation work and Revit. All right, now that we have uh, our understanding how elevation work in Revit, in the next tutorial, we're going to set some view to see inside the model. Because when you view the elevation, you can only see the part of that model. If you go to a 3D view, for instance, click the default 3D view, you see the entire model externally, but not internally. If you have detail inside the building that you want to display, you need some work to be done to do just that. That is what we are going to do on the next tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or any suggestion about this tutorial, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.